Hey guys, it's Connor the Wolf. We wanted to give a special Patreon shout out to all of this month's Patreon members. Taylor Rothling, Pelican Haddock, and Wise QB. Thank you so much for being members of the Paw Screen Pack. And if you want to join the Paw Screen Pack yourself, head on over to patreon.com forward slash Paw Screen. Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of Paw Screen with Connor the Wolf. I'm here too with anxiety. We're playing more Wind Waker. More Wind Waker. We're talking to a Taco Bell dragon. Talking to a dragon who clearly ate too much Taco Bell last night. Yep. Oh god. Oh, I get it. That's what happened. Yeah. Who are these two goons? <laughs> That's rather annoying. Man, he is uh, actually really annoying. Oh, man. Oh, look at that one. I think that's the Moblin. Yeah. The other ones were the Bacoblin. Yeah. I see. Oh. Hey, you kind of got your butt kicked right there. down like a bitch after that. Yes, medley. Interesting. Just a lot of money that matters not. And skull you got necklace. a skull necklace. You can keep it in your spoils bags. This rather off-putting accessory would appear to be of little value, but shown to the right person, it is apparently of great worth. Just run around and start showing it to everyone. There we go. To the point where they're like, I get it. It's a skull necklace. Good job. Pancakes, you came to rescue me. Oh, thank you. I have to tell you what I found out. This is terrible. Some creature is doing awful things to the great... Valu's tail. Oh my. I told you, feeding him Taco Bell. <laughs> okay. That does something terrible to my tail end. <laughs> Fair enough, yeah. It is always a That's problem. why he's so angry. The great Valu's tail hangs down into the room right below here. There's got to be something in there. I wonder if those mean monsters who captured me have something to do with it. We've got to do something now, before it's too late. I'll go and tell everyone what's happening. Here, Pancakes, use this to get out of here. It's what I used to get this far. It's a device we Rito, we Rito used before we evolved wings. It's called being captured. Hey, look, it's you got a grappling, grappling hook. hook. You got the grappling hook. This was an item used by the Rito people before they had wings. Set it to Y, X, or R on the item screen and press that button to aim. Use this item to latch onto anything with a starburst icon with on a pow. it. You can even use it to haul things from the sea floor while on your boat. Yeah, boat. Here, Pan. Here, Pancakes, climb up on that ledge over there so I can show you something. The faster we fix the whole dragon problem, the le the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Grab this branch with the grappling hook and you can swing over there to get out of this area. When you aim at a branch that you can latch onto, Starburst will appear. 
Remember that. The Batman POW symbol. Don't worry about me, Pancakes. Get going. It has been a rough mating season. POW. Yeah. Grappling hook. Grappling hook. Grappling hook. Can you grappling hook people? Yes. Nice. Come here. Good old warrior. I met Boone about it. These big fat dragons are getting annoying. With the noises. Oh. I forgot I can move. Yeah, you're walking while you're doing that, huh? Is it motion controlled? Yes. Ugh. Oh, that's not appealing. I mean, it wasn't on the GameCube, but... I would assume not, yeah. Poor choice. Nintendo, poor choice, in my opinion. <laughs> it was a remake on the Wii U. Yeah. Oh, well, you, you just left him to die. Yeah, it was worth it. Can I get another one? Bye. Yep. Long live the king. <laughs> Long live the king. Now there's a treasure down there. There's got to be a reason why I gave you a stick in a fire, right? I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Why else would they give you a stick in a fire? I don't know. Uh... Uh, is this a good idea? Ah, I see. Oh. Don't forget the treasure chest. Always get the loot. Bomb bag. Uh, How about a joy pendant? I don't need another joy pendant. They're bringing me no joy. You would have to. You have to at least get twenty-one of them. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> Plus, I think it would have been more fun to complain about it when it came up. I know. But, I mean, it's not like we could actually do anything more funny than what happened in a certain playthrough of it. You know? Oh! That seemed like a bad idea. Yeah. It was an accident. What you're supposed to do is... Cut them all at the same time? Or wait till it's lava spewing up and then cut them? Those are my guesses. Or is it both of those things at the same time? Neat. Okay. Going okay. Puzzles. Huh. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Oh, grappling hook. Gotcha. This is still just the worst idea ever. They should feel bad about that. Do 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 do. Yeah. There's a bat coming for you. Grappling hook it. Do it. You won't. We'll see. Coward. Nice. Okay, so it kills weaker enemies. I also know that uh, if you hit a stronger enemies with it, do they get scorpioned? They get stunned, and you can steal items off of them. Oh, neat. Like health or rupees or uh, that's pretty neat anything in that room wow it doesn't look like it mm -mm. looks like it's kind of like a red herring to get you to just to automatically swing across and be like there's nothing here although also probably to teach you that uh you can change direction yeah 
by making it in an easier room before mm -hmm. making you have to try it in a more dangerous area. Yeah. Which I think is decent game design. Yeah, it's always a good idea to teach the player and then show the player and then have a player uh, like be challenged with it later. Button. Interesting. Okay, so it catches back on fire. Oh. I don't like him. I don't trust him. Yeah, yeet. I see. I get it. They're little centipede people. That's cute. Okay, and then I need to kill him as soon as I open this chest. Because he'll kill us all. He'll kill us all. Burn us all to the ground. Oh, you got the got big the key. Boss key. Big key. He's back to life. Interesting. Seems like you can't, when you do that view, you can't actually, uh... Well, you killed him. I needed a heart. That poor critter. That poor critter? Yeah, he could have just lived in this dungeon forever, dead and alone. That bat looks scary. Like, not like a normal bat. It was on fire. Yeah. What do you expect? Uh, for it to be dead? When you think of that on fire would be dead. This is Zelda. When is that the norm? Good point. Just a young child. Oh, bye. Shit. Just a young child. Platforming his way through a dungeon. Yeah. I I was about to start kind of like chiming in with the uh, you know the Mario song. What Mario song? Ah, oh, the Super Mario Brothers two theme. Yeah. <laughs> your fault. 
your just impulse to destroy everything you see Maybe. ruined that room for you. Uh, this why did a sword just fall from the sky? Who knows? What's happening up there? And I'm sorry that I have an impulse to just <laughs> destroy, destroy shit. everything. Because that's what Zelda teaches you to do. You just destroy everything that people know and love. Okay. And now we wait. Oh, because he dropped the sword, I see. Well, he somehow fell into the lava. Hmm, sucks. <laughs> Wouldn't that be, like, the worst death ever? Like, falling into the lava? Because if you think about it, lava is actually really, really dense, so it would be kind of like falling into molten liquid concrete. Yeah. Like you would hit it like concrete and then it would absorb you and burn you at the same time. Yeah, it's not like how Mortal Kombat portrays it. Yeah. Mortal Kombat actually portrays it as a much quicker death than it really is. Yeah. Because essentially it's molten rock and it's more dense than you, so you stay on top. It's essentially like concrete. Same way when, you know, you're falling from a great height and water works. Except for, you know, you don't have to be falling from a great height. you just falling. Yeah, well, all is nothing like it is in the cartoons. Yeah. It Why? is not a funny way to go. No. You don't comically just fly into the air. If only. Fight him to the death. Nah. Mortal Kombat, that guy. Well, that was... That was pointless. This seems a little annoying. Yep, just a bunch of monies. The Knight's Crest. You got a Knight's Crest. Something about skilled people. Put it in your spoils bag or whatever. <laughs> Joy Pendant. Joy Pendants. And a furry. Damn it. You didn't catch it in a bottle. Hey, look, another furry. Hey, there you go. Fairy in a bottle. <laughs> yes, cry, you child of mine. He's very happy about it being sad. <laughs> yeah, it looks very upset. Now we fight the boss. Yep. So, there's Velu's tail. It looks like an anchor. Probably where he does his shitting. Yeah, this molten. Oh, hi there. Clearly had too much Taco Bell. Battery has worms. I get it. I already know what the idea of this boss is. Hey, uh, he vomited fire at you. This one will probably go a little longer. Interesting. He just blocked you off from his attack that he was very much aiming at you. I don't know what you're supposed to do yet. I haven't figured it out either. Let's see. Yeah. He's got a big glowing eye and you got a thing to throw at his big glowing eye. Oops. Did you just open your... Yes. Yes, I did. Well... Bye, fairy. I guess you just released a fairy for no reason into the wild. Wait, really? This is a completely separate...
chapter. Let's see. It still seems like you should be able to hit him in the eye with a grappling hook. A mighty enemy stands before you. Even in the face of such danger, however, you would be wise to change your perspective and see what is around you. It is important to get a firm grasp of your surroundings and see what you can use to swing the battle in your favor. Is there like some water jugs or something somewhere? Oh, I think I get it. Yeah, you're right. Interesting. Uh, that was a little crazy of you. Seems like a s simple enough boss fight. Maybe one or two more times. Why does he keep putting that back? Mm -hmm. Because it's getting in his way? I guess, yeah. Or maybe it's holding his tail in place. Who knows? Well, he's completely naked now. I am nude. Witness all of my buffness. Well, that was smart of me. Yeah. Now you can probably just like, yeah, grappling hook him in the eye and then beat the crap out of it. Well, and I think he's dead. Yeah, I think that was a pretty... Okay. Yeah, sometimes you're just like, what am I supposed to do? Yeah. And then the game's like, there you go. That one was a little... Whoa. It took a little bit off. of creative combat. Yeah, but it was still do this thing three times, you know? Hey... I've never seen a Link that happy to beat an enemy. No, I've never seen that one. Don't eat the Taco Bell, you'll get worms. You'll get worms or weird caterpillar monsters that some young child will have to, to defeat. You got a heart container. Your life energy has increased by one. Plus your life gauge has been replenished. Woo. You did let go of a fairy, though. I did. A fairy I worked kind of hard to <laughs> capture. Well, that episode didn't run as long as we thought it would. No. Or that fight. I mean, no, it didn't run as long. But now I he's like, now I can finally poop in peace. Yeah. But I wanted to wrap up the rest of this island, maybe on this episode or do you want to go to the next one mm, we'll wrap up what's going on here and then to the next episode okay. we'll start the next journey okay because I was going to grab a drink in between okay uh, excuse me shouldn't have eaten those shrooms <laughs> and pancakes, pancakes! <laughs> give me the ball well, Prince Kamali, 
Don't you have something you want to say, moody teen bitch? Um, I heard everything from Mel Medley. Pancakes, thank you so much. I'm sorry I misunder I mistrusted you. I hope I can be like you someday, Pancakes. Fluffy, light, and good with syrup. Will you, Kamali? I just know it. Right, Pancakes? So, Pancakes, here. I want you to take this, Pancakes. Giving you the thing I value most will give me the courage I need to stand up to bad things. You've bad received things. Inspiral. Pearl. This gem is the Rito's claim. This is the gem the Rito's claim was passed down from the great goddess. You don't say. Probably finally got those Taco Bell poops out. <laughs> the great Valu is grateful to you, Pancakes. Use the wind god's wind? That's what he said, but I don't understand. I wonder what it means. The wind god's wind. I wonder if what he's talking about has anything to do with the wind shrine that's through that tunnel. Oh, I almost forgot. The great Valu also names you, Pancakes, a true hero. I agree with him. As far as we're concerned, Pancakes, you really are a hero. Hero Pancakes! Well, I'm going to go and visit Valu. Maybe this great mating season will not be so rough. I'll come and see you sometime with the best pair of wings ever. Hey, Prince Kamali. Thank you so much, Pancakes. See you again someday. Bird person away. Bird persons away. Hey, look at Beetle. Splish. Splish. Kaboom. Kaboom. Splish. Splish. More pears. More hideous, hideous pears. Fire all of them. Oh, he has like more. Well, I'm confused. Why does he have two different pairs? Mm -hmm. When they're both just going to be replenished. I'll probably just buy one more thing of, uh, or one more pair, and then... Because they're horrifying? Well, that, and I can cause, uh, seagulls to... <laughs> to, you know, kamikaze themselves. Into bombs, for whatever reason. Plus the animation's interesting. Because he puts it on his head. And the seagulls, they poke at my, my head. head. Not, Not fun. fun. I said seagulls. seagulls. Mm -hmm. Stop, Stop it, it now. now. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't looked up, uh, uh. <laughs> stop the sea or the seagulls. Stop it now. It's amazing. It's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, Star Wars bad w lip readings. Yeah. I don't know if anyone doesn't know about them yet. Well, if they don't, they need to. What's this guy want? Listen, man, you're not one of the natives, I, native islanders, are you? No. My problem is, I just have no idea how I'm supposed to get up there, and I have a job interview. C climb? Is that all he says? Yeah. Loser. What's that mailbox for? Good morning! Welcome to the Island Postal Service. What do you have for delivery? Nothing. 
interesting. Ooh. Well, it looks like I just took his job. Yep. Yeah. You gonna go and take his interview? Well, I mean, I did just buy shit from the Beatle. So I'm gonna go take his job. So what are we supposed to be doing now? Well, I need to go to the next island. Yeah. But uh, I guess that'll be next time on Pause Screen. Next time on Per Screen. Hey guys, before we sign off, I just wanted to say thank you for making it to the end of the video. And if you enjoy our content, why don't you leave a like and subscribe to the channel? It really helps us out. Additionally, we also have just launched our new Pause Screen Live channel on YouTube, which is for our past Twitch broadcasts. Speaking of which, you can catch us live most Fridays on twitch.tv forward slash Connor the Wolf. And if you're in the mood to see what else we're up to, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter. Alrighty guys, stay awesome!